Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U. In the last episode, we went to Rock Candy Mines, and look at all these warps that we've got now. We went to Rock Candy Mines, and we defeated the great Roy Koopa. Not that he's so great anyway. He has the most annoying castle in Super Mario World. Oh my god. Just because of the snake block platforms. But, we're not playing that game. I've already done an LP of that game, so if you like it, go search on my channel, Garage Door Opener, Playlists, New Super Mario World. I believe it's Playlist 11 or 10. Something like that. I did it a long time ago. Anyways, right now we're on Moran Clouds World 7, the second to last world of the game that we have to do to complete the game, but we're doing a 100% file, which means we have to do everything, so it's not quite that far. Moran Clouds 1, Land of the Flying Blocks is our first level, and this one has some pretty easy star coins in it. Um, for the first star coin in this level, we require Acorn Mario, so it's a good thing we're seeing uh, these flying squirrels here. There's an ac- Well, screw you too, man. There's an acorn mushroom in this first block here, so we're just going to go grab that. And of course we got some blocks that keep building themselves up here. No big deal. And we're just going to quickly dodge, because otherwise these squirrel dudes will kind of kill us. Uh, when the piranha plant goes over here... When we see coin number one over there, it's not actually coin number one. Whoa, that was really close. Jump up this red pipe. And then we basically just run. Some blocks will spawn for us, which have some coins on them. As fun as that is, and it'll make that appear. So that's how we get coin number one. We need the acorn suit to get up that pipe, so don't even try it without it. Now we could fly... Whoa. Whoa. We could fly up there, but we have some blocks that just form themselves, so no big deal. Coin number two. Easy get. Uh, coin number three is also a pretty easy get. It's right along the path of the level, so you can't miss it. Uh, the only thing is we need to be Super Mario, so if you're Little Mario, you can just hit the checkpoint there, become Big Mario, and then just promise me you won't get hit again. Whoa, that was just unfair. Also, if you do get hit again, there's a block over there, as I just showed you. We could go underneath and get the red coins there, but I'm not going to bother because it's only going to give us a 1-up. And although we are at 98 lives because I spent so much time scrub scrub scrubbing the floor in um, the last uh, level, Roy's Castle. Not Roy's Castle, the, uh, the Spine Coaster in World 6. Uh, I just, yeah. What we do is basically just ground pound a hole in the ground here, and then we can, we're good to go. That's pretty much all you need Super Mario for. Come up here, dodge the big piranha plants. I actually didn't move there because I had to itch my nose, not because I was guarding myself against the piranha plants. And let's re rectify that life count by going to 99 lives at the top of the bike. Mario time! Da -da! Mario time! And that's Marine Clouds 1. This level has a very cloud theme about it. It's like World 5 and Mario 3. Whoops. Didn't mean to pause there. I meant to pause here. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Off to the left, we have Meringue Clouds 2, Seesaw Shrooms, and in this level, we need Yoshi. So, it's a good thing that Yoshi's going to come pretty quick. Huh. Oh. Actually, I don't want that. I want to keep my Acorn Shroom. We get Yoshi right off the bat here because, oh, Yoshi is just so wonderful. Um, what we have to do here is basically take Yoshi and ride him underneath to our first coin here. And just eat everything in sight because that's all Yoshi seems to do anymore. He's such a glutton. Huh. Alrighty. Coming up here we got a Goomba to eat and a Koopa to eat. Whoa ho ho. Oh ho 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 ho. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yoshi come back. I need you. For later. Okay, so let's just eat that so we can make it through here easier. Nope! Yoshi! Okay, there we go. Yoshi getting away is like one of the most annoying things to me. Okay, our next star coin is actually pretty close to here. Now, when we see this floating... Oh my god, Yoshi. 
Oh! Oh, did you guys see that? Of course you saw it. It was clutch. What we want to do is jump up here and eat the Lakitu, and then come up here. We don't need Yoshi to do this, because we can just uh, jump on the Lakitu, but eating him is a little bit easier, I think. Then we're just going to sail on the cloud. I'd rather not sail on the cloud, actually, because, well, it makes it so you can fall easier, if you get what I'm saying. Basically, what we want to do here is just kind of be safe here. Make sure you don't get eaten by the Lakitu. And then when this appears, we gotta come up here. This is another thing we need Yoshi for. I think you can also probably make that jump with the acorn suit, but I'm not entirely certain with that. Just do that, and there we go. Our third star coin. Nice and easy and simple. Well, so long as we have Yoshi. Otherwise, I imagine it would be a big, real pain in the ass. And then we're just gonna take Yoshi right to the top of the flagpole and get our 100th live though we can't, so. I'm sure if this game let me go higher than 99 lives, I would probably have a good number of lives. I doubt anyone would count from the beginning of the LP, but I imagine it's quite significant. Well, it seems that my phone died that I was using to time this episode, so if it goes on a little bit long or a little bit too short, that's for me to decide, so. <laughs> oh dear. Switchback Hill is a pretty fun course. What this level does is you have these platforms that when you're riding them, they go one direction, and when you're not riding them, they go in another direction. Fun, right? Well, you're not. They go a lot faster in one direction than they do the other, so that's pretty decent. What we want to do is just stay on this and duck, just so we don't get hit by the bullet bill. This level's pretty simple to get its star coins. Uh, basically, all you have to do is not get hit by the bullet bills, and you win, which is fairly easy. Using the acorn suit, we can just kind of come up here early, and that's real nice. You can do a lot of good things with the acorn suit, so... Whoa! Oh, look at that, a hidden pipe. I never would have guessed that was there. Basically, what we do here is just the same thing. Dodge the bullet bills and don't get hit. It's not hard. You just have to know when to jump and when not to. And then, of course, once you're at the end, you can just do the ground pound, because you can't get hit by any bullet bills unless they came at a very specific angle. And even then, it's hard to get hit by a bullet bill. Okay, so, now that we're at the halfway point, we have halfway to go. Well, that's actually not true, because in a lot of Mario levels, I've noticed the checkpoint is not halfway through the level. Sometimes it's closer to one side, but, you know, it's pretty fun. Grab the POW block here, and jump off a guy, jump off another guy, well, let's just throw the POW block. The coin appears at the top. Now, what we have to do is we have to keep in... Ooh, we have to keep up with this block here, because if we lose sight of the coin, it'll just despawn, and we won't be able to get it. Whoa, that was really close, actually. Jump whenever you can to get it, or you can just kind of let it, the coin slide against that right wall there, and then you can just collect it when it slides off. It's a little bit harder to do, but it's, you know, you get the coin, so why not, right? Grab the coin, the bullet bills suddenly explode into a ton of points, and we get them. I think we have time for one more level, because I really have no concept of time in this episode anymore. I can tell how long I've been recording for, and yeah, that's way too short. So we have time to do one more level. Meringue Clouds Dash Castle, the Slide Lift Tower. This level is a big big pain in the ass because of these slide blocks. It is a lot it is possible for the slide blocks to crush you when they're moving. So it's it you you have to know where you are. Otherwise you'll just get crushed getting a star coin in this level. Which might happen if it's your first time, but even for me, like, it might happen, so the let's play curse is in full effect. For me, so. This acorn shroom is a must because the first coin that we're. Oh dear. The first uh, coin that we get in this level uh, requires it. I can't believe I almost got hit by that fire bro. I call them hammer bros, but really they're fire bros. 
because they're not throwing hammers, they're throwing fire. It makes sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Alright, so let's just dodge the fire bro here. Continuously making our way to the top, and right at the top here we have the coin. If we want, we can bounce off him, but only once. So we need, we do need the acorn flower to make it up to the top here. And then we just fly up and go grab it, and then we can go fight. No, I guess you go with that from the bottom. Okay. Whoa, my microphone keeps slipping on my face. Sorry if that's annoying to listen to. Um, this next coin we have uh, is against the right wall, uh, a little bit higher up. There are some circling coins that you see here. What we want to look for are circling, are more circling coins. So, uh, the I don't think the acorn mushroom is required for this one because I've never, uh, I've never really thought about it. The jump, I've always gotten it, but it looks like you can make it without. Right on the right side of the wall here, we have some, whoa, we have some uh, coins here. With a really precise jump, you could probably make this without the acorn suit, but it's just easier. Most things in this game are easier with the acorn suit than without. Alright, then we just have to navigate some blocks here. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, so let's try the easier approach. Okay, that was not the easier approach. Let's just go up here, land there. There we go. That's a little bit easier. And then just fly up here. There we go. And then we just follow the coins. Nice and simple and easy. Alright, the next coin we have is directly up here. All we have to do... Whoa. All we have to do is not get hit by this giant fireball chain thing and go up this hidden pipe. Now, this is a maze, and this maze is easy to get killed in because you can be squished by these blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a special... Oh my fucking god. Oh, I actually made it. I can't believe it. We're going to take a special path through here, but as you see, I kind of didn't even take it, so... Let's see here. Go through here, and we're going to go up here, and there we go. Take a special jump, and of course I lost my acorn. No, there was a question mark block over there. Nah, Alright, I doubt there's going to be any block over here that I can grab. It'll give me an upgrade. And I can't go back down here, so we have to go in here without being big Mario. So hopefully things will be okay. Hopefully. Alright, so here we have to fight Kamek, which is pretty simple, except that he warps around everywhere. What else is new, right? You know, he's always warped around in every Mario game he's been in. So what we want to do is waiting until... Oh dear. Okay, goodbye Goomba. What we want to do is go up to one of the taller spots where he might end up. Up here is probably the best way to go. And then just jump on him when he appears. The good thing about Kamek is that he doesn't... Um, he doesn't do a rolling around kind of thing. He just kind of uh, magics the floor so that they turn into falling blocks instead of uh, solid blocks. Which is fair. I mean, it's got to be hard in some way, but... Oh no, that was close. Oh dear. See, I probably could have jumped on Kamek then, but I just... I, I didn't want to risk it. When you're little Mario, you don't take risks, so... Ah <laughs> Okay, I have to hit him this time. There we go. Oh, I actually thought I was dead. Okay, so, now Kamek's gonna start going ape shit with his magic. It's a good thing I was good at dodging it. I don't want him to use magic on these blocks because we have a bomb there. Oh, there we go. Hit him just in time. 
And when we hit him, the floor turns back into regular blocks. And that's our battle against Kamek. Pop. And Kamek goes bye bye. So long, Saka. And we're gonna save. So. That'll be it for this episode of Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U. On the next episode, we're going to move over here and take on Meringue Clouds, 7 Dash Boo House, the Spinning Spirit House. And from there, we'll probably. We'll probably. do a couple more levels, and then we're going to take on um, the last couple levels in the next episode after that. So, until then, I can't wait to come into the Boo House. Sort of. Look at Mario go. He wants to go to the Boo House so bad. Ah! And now he wants to go back to the castle. So, see you guys next time.